so as you understand what happens uh, is that due to our hormones that is the estrogen hormone which is the female hormone as it changes its level increase during our normal menstrual cycle so does this uh, focus of endometriosis becomes thickening thickened and it grows and then it sheds during periods so what do we do practically to make it quiet what we need to do is by treatment is either by means of medicines or by surgery and basically it is the specialist or the doctor who decides what should be the line of treatment medically if i talk about there are different lines of treatment most commonly being the contraceptive pills the birth control pills which we give sometimes in these patients because what we want that you should not bleed frequently so we try to create a situation artificial situation in which you are not bleeding every month so the lesser you bleed the more likely chances are that these things would go on a shrinkage path so birth controls can be given they can be given without a break so that instead of bleeding every month temporarily you are bleeding every 2 months or 3 months to shrink this disease other are certain injections which we call as gnrh agonists those injections are given progesterone only injections and there are certain drugs also progestins we call them so but the drug therapy is dependent on your doctor who will take care of them in case of large cysts or severe pain or fertility difficulty we do fertility enhancing surgeries by means of laparoscopy which commonly it is known as the laser surgery by lot of people in which we put a small create a small hole above the navel so that we pass a camera which we call as the laparoscope and then other two three small holes and through that we operate in as a very late uh, resort or if it is very extensive sometimes you have to do a open surgery also for this condition which is not practiced very commonly also uh, it also depends upon what is your plan if you are planning for a baby then maybe in such cases in case not in every case of endometriosis but in severe cases of endometriosis ivf is required because what happens if endometriomas are in the ovaries what they do is blood filled cyst what we call as chocolate fluid cyst because you are bleeding re bleeding re bleeding every month so that blood becomes dark and thick just like a melted chocolate so those cysts we have to at times remove it by laparoscopy do the stimulation of the eggs try to get the maximum number of eggs and then eventually transfer them inside the uterus many a times the tubes may also get filled with blood and then they get damaged so especially if you are young try to consult the doctor early so that she is able to guide you in case you are endometriosis majority of the time the treatment may be possible by means of medicines though a prolonged treatment might be required and if you are planning for a baby or a fertility is required then the treatment is dependent on how we have to proceed and ivf procedure may be required in cases of endometriosis also uh, what i always say about endometriosis there is nothing really to panic about you know we should always look at the good side of things it is not dangerous to life it is troublesome i always it is troublesome it troubles you every month but it's not dangerous it is not cancerous so we don't really have to panic about if we get a condition then there are lot of uh, support groups which are there for endometriosis you can join the support groups which help you to cope with the situation and basically early detection and treatment is the way forward so don't ignore your symptoms lot of people say ki nahi dard to hota hi rehta hai periods mein dard is normal yes it may be physiological or normal but if you are having you feel every month severe pain please consult a doctor a simple ultrasound may help you in the diagnosis otherwise the uh, diagnostic part is mainly by means of ultrasound in cases we are planning for surgery or extensive mri and other techniques might be required thank you